thing from a user what you need is the user's code obviously you'll require the user's code to access your uh, the user's ATM Next is like uh, now what here it is in the project what I am showing you here is without uh, CSV data or you can say without an Excel data kind of like no database is there okay so just one user is there he is entering something and using some if and else we are considering the project okay so account number I have given is like one two three four five six seven okay account holder name is your Jack and then in the machine what it is being given like swipe your card okay so you get to swipe it now then you take the input like input enter your pin code right as soon now it depends on you like you want to enter something else uh, you want to make choices first and then entering the pins okay so i'm taking like pin codes as the first one so integer input of the pin codes for the user will be giving and it should match the pin code of the user okay if it matched then while it is true i'll be giving the options that withdraw money transfer money balance inquiry change the pin code and exit okay and see uh, how exactly it is there like uh, you would be given three chances or you can take even two chance three uh, whatever as required for you okay so keep it like two to three would be good right so choice would be from among one to five so enter your choice would be giving it like if choice is equals to one okay then it's like the same procedure if and else you know right how it would be going through and input enter the amount and amount is amt is greater than amount like uh, if you have in your balance if you are having 40,000 50,000 and you are entering 1 lakh 50 like that so it would print that enter valid amount okay or else your transition uh, this should be transaction this should be transaction okay so transaction is successful right so amount then it will be giving you about minus MT now you understand what is this backslash n right that for new lines that will be giving you amount as being left leg amount will be stored here whatever you have taken minus of that right so L if your choice becomes two okay now in place of your withdraw money you are doing transfer money again the same things uh, a of num that is your account number you will be taking a of name would be your account holder name what is the user now it depends like account we actually don't want to give account name i have just shared it because the atm if you enter it would take all the details right so name is not very much required okay so a name and okay we are doing transfer i think yeah so for transfer we have to name it right okay account number and account name and all these things done there so amount is greater than again the same things and it will be transferred and again it will be stored in the amount uh, something is missing there transfer printers i guess some indentation issues yeah okay so this is again done uh, this might get here Okay, so LF choice becomes three. You have to print N total number present is then your amount. Like if you want to query of your amount, you have to do query. Okay, then reset pin would be giving you enter your pin code, reset pin code, pin code, and then all the things. Okay, and this becomes else, else exit, and this is your things. Okay, clear, right. Exit, you need to just go out, else do nothing, or you can give your exit function if you have made exit function. Okay, apart from this all, what you would be giving like pin code, chances would be three. Chances in the sense like if pin code becomes false. While it, if it is false, don't just exit, give another chance. Right, that you can give it. So like swipe your card, enter the pin code, withdraw money, let's say the choice is three which is balance inquiry so total amount present is being given okay then again it is coming so it is it will be coming at like in a loop while true is being given right so it will be coming in a loop now 
again while true would be coming enter choice one and enter the amount that is withdrawing i think yeah withdraw money so two three double zero so transaction is successful if you if you can write also that if you the user wants to print the receipt and what are the procedures will be taking on okay uh, next is like again see enter the amount and if i enter something greater than this because i think we had entered 10000 something in the amount yeah 10000 and we are entering around 12 lakhs oh, just a minute no more than that one crore is there i think yeah. three yeah so that is exceeded right so it will be giving you valid amount again enter two let us transfer money yeah need to transfer to jack and amount to transfer is 2300 and this is successful so rest things you can make it so don't make it as simple as project right what i have shown you for a sample one don't make it as simple as this okay do some changes over there okay so this could be your atm one right so it is easy and pin code got changed successfully thank you for counting and all these things okay uh coming back to here in the net banking now if you want to make project on net banking and atm combined one okay so for combined if you are trying to make it so there you have to take some uh, data sets i think i have shared you data set if not then again i'll share you bank detail csv i think this is in your drive okay so this data set is having see account numbers it is having pen it is having name at the branch branch number phone number email id age address and balances okay so this is having 30 i guess 29 0 to 29 yeah 30 okay so all things are there okay the name unique attribute now you'll be making you have to write up these things right if you are taking a data set then you have to first write what is your first column okay or you can say the customer name so these are your customer names and then first five records last five records you don't need to mention last also first would be better okay then you need to count what is the length of the dm that is your 30 or you can write in case of this you can also write df dot the size now don't write size would be giving a bad answer you write shape okay so shape of the things you'll be getting 30 cross something around the columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 columns are there so 30 cross 10 you'll be getting if you write size you'll be getting 300 that will be problem then then login page for the net banking creating a list to store a particular attribute value for converting it into the lower case all right so you'll be taking name here as a list account as a list pin as a list and name whatever would be entered would be df dot name dot str dot lower now what do you understand with this df dot name what does this mean that this is your df this is your df right this is the data frame name is this one right so df dot name is basically you are accessing some names from here any name could be there right so df dot name right let's say us3 is there right so df dot name is us3 okay and then us3 dot str making it into a string and then converting it into lower for caseless comparisons or you can use case fold basically instead of all these an account number also you need to match it okay so if the user is entering his name or her name so account number should also match and pin should also match with that reference okay the type you can check on so making a recursive function to input the username and check if the entry is present data is correct or not okay so c is equals to zero name is being given enter your name again lower f equals false then you are making a loop over there so that it is being present okay if it is true and then breaking out okay and if it is true then you print name validated and this all and return c c is basically your i okay that is your range and you can print it again okay then you store the things again you are making an account function and you are doing the same things right going inside don't make it such a complex one okay this is a complex one basically you go with the simplest things right because uh, you don't need to go with very large things in pandas okay this was a program of a data science student i guess so he was a student of data science also so it made it bit complex don't go with all these things okay you make simple things but use data frames and use this logic don't go for i lock and all 
using the loops loops are not required to simply run here okay and then all these things i'm just showing you the output what you'll be getting it so that you could have a quick uh, you know like clear perception that what exactly you have to do in your project right so uh, this could be there uh, just a minute output is being generated for the cancer right just a minute uh, yeah it's fine so see enter your name is being and name validated then giving some spaces over there then ac again account number account number validated a pin there phone number and can proceed to the next step okay and OTP has been sent to your things and OTP you know how to send it very easy I have discussed in the first class I think second or yeah first class so this is your uh, mobile this is the OTP again you receive the OTP like if you give an incorrect OTP it would be time lapse and need to log in again okay and if everything are correct OTP is also correct access granted and the features what you would be giving to the user after access is granted now as soon as the login is being uh, successful okay you have to start your module what you have learned that is your date time right from that particular time you should be um, very much uh, you know like having that features on your screen for the user right because from that time the time will be taking and you need to keep a time like you not to keep a time here because that is a different part so you'll be keeping it like if uh, 10 minutes over you have to re-log in something like that okay so op your operations for your net banking what you need to do credit debit change pin check balance quit and all the rest things csv files and all okay and this you make with if and else okay user drop down menus are being there so these are the menus credit denominations and all these things so press y to quit and now so choose any transaction please for date and time and see this is easy i guess you have learned this please collect your mini statement and say the account number this pin this name this branch name branch number and phone number email id age address balance you need not to give everything in this uh, things right you only give account number pin uh, sorry don't don't show the pins right because any mini statement does not show the pins and all okay. so we only need to write the account number the rest of the details and it's thanks for using this okay so this is all about the things in your um, you know, project projects and all okay so this is all needed all right and questions i guess uh, would be there for you to see how you'd be making it okay uh, let me stop your recording